There comes a time in every animal's life when they just can't do the things they used to. When they slow down just a bit. When time seems to have passed them by. Fortunately, the Jungle Geriatric Set has George, King of the Jungle, to help them in their golden years. Yeah. Huh? Ooh, George Fix! <laughs> Could there be a more thoughtful Jungle King than George? I don't think so. But I don't know for sure. I mean, it's, it's not like I've done any research or anything. <laughs> Aw, you're welcome. Finally, liquid time! Hey, evil doctor, leave old animals alone! What? George say, leave old animals alone! Do you see any old animals here? Uh... I'm a mad scientist, not a monster! Then what's that? That? That is a time machine I just finished in... Hey, yeah. quit it! Yeah. We stop this instead, okay? No, not okay! Not okay! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You missing parents, too? That's ten elderly animals lost in the last week. Hmm. What they all have in common? Well, they were old, they move slowly, they'd be easy to catch. Bernard! <laughs> Bad snake. Bernard no eat old animals. George no care, they taste good. Open face. Open face now. Okay. Whoa. okay. There. You safe now, Grandma. Wait, there's something still in there. Bernard! What in the world? Ah! Ah! Ah, my back! Rover! You scaly split tongue serpent! You think you can eat us and get away with it? It's crumpets for you. What are you two jackalopes staring at? Uh, uh... Be quick about it. Wait, I know you. You're Lloyd, Lloyd of the Jungle. And you're his mentor, Gorilla. Yeah, so you're not as dumb as you look. Because you look pretty dumb. I, uh... George, Lloyd and Gorilla were our predecessors until they mysteriously vanished 50 years ago. Down this rapscallion's gullet. Yeah, still got it. A shoot, a shoot, yeah. A toast to Lloyd and Gorilla back in the jungle, safe and sound. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tell George all about being king in old times. <gasps> You fight T-Rex? First of all, it's King Lloyd to you, sideburns. Go get a haircut, you hippie. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> uh, that's not really appropriate. The only thing that's not appropriate is your slaughter of the Queen's English. You want to hear about the old days, huh? Do ya? Uh, George don't know anymore. It was tough, but that's how we liked it. We didn't swing on vines, we swung on thorns! Yes! And when Lloyd hit something, it was never a tree. Ah! Too soft! Too soft indeed! I see. Well, George and I do things a little differently now. <laughs> I bet you do. Oh, it's true! George and Ape show you! <laughs> Hey, lions, hyenas, share a water hole, okay? Or else. <laughs> or else. <laughs> or else what? Um, or else George make everyone get along. <laughs> oh, your threats are as weak as a bowl of mint jelly. <laughs> this is how you make animals behave. Ooh, it's high. Ooh. Oh, that hurt. Hey, she's you. That's a fine bull, There it is. <laughs> oh. Now 
how they'll learn to get along. Look, Georgie boy, <laughs> I appreciate you looking after things when I was all nowhere in a snake's gut. But you're as soft as wet buckwheat. Huh? You ain't got no mustard, boy. What? We're taking our old jobs back. Got it? Um, no. That's not how this works. That's exactly how it works. Technically, they never reside. So Lloyd and Gorilla are still Jungle King and Mentor. He mean and out of touch. We make animals sad. Oh, I'll make someone else sad right now. Stop. That is not And if Lloyd King of Jungle, then what George and Ape? Hmm. George Jester of Jungle? Ape Knave of the Jungle? Ah, quit your whining. You're lucky you still got jobs. And them fancy new hats. What the hey hey's going on here? I don't recall giving you Trunk Nose's leave to be all flappity flap flap with your ears. If I wanted to see all these colors, I would fight a rainbow. Now mud it up, bird brains. If you exercised them hind quarters as much as you did that mouth, you wouldn't be such a tumble lord. Hey, Hippo Perfect the way Hippo is. It's called Tough Love, and because you let the jungle go soft, there's a lot more of it coming. George, trying to help you. Listen, Charlie, I need your help like I need another ward on my butt. Hey, I got 20 warts on my butt! <laughs> You're fired! So scram! Did George make mistake? No. I didn't think old people could be so mean either. What we do now? There isn't much we can do. It's against jungle law to interfere with the king. Let's just go home, relax, read a good book or two, and figure it out in the morning. <laughs> the move! Find your own bed, sick, you bums. We're taking over this dump. This means war. But it against jungle law. Then it's gorilla war. We win easy, ha! <laughs> they old, we young! And so, George and Ape went underground to fight against Lloyd and Gorilla's old-school jungle tyranny. <laughs> but no matter what they tried, Lloyd and Gorilla's years of experience meant they had seen it all before and knew exactly what to do. Lloyd and Gorilla, too old for us. They're always one step ahead. George Wish never pulled them from Snake in first place. Yes, well, unless you have a time machine. Finally, now I can... Going back to bed. <laughs> now we just stop me and. Whoa! George, you sent us back too far. George? George, send us back! Send us back! Send us back! Good. No, no, that's not good. Not good at all. Ah, oh, yeah. Now this is an 18 karat jungle. Indeed. Ah, we back. <laughs> I don't know who you jackalopes are, but I know I don't like you already. We, George and Ape, we stuck in dinosaur land when time machine broke. It took us 50 years to make a new one. Well, I'll be. It is them. Not for long, it ain't. It's Splitsville for you two. Ah, we're older than you now. We 
know all the tricks. And we have time to invent new ones. Oh, it's ring a ding ding time. See, George finally understands what you mean. You kids can have the job back. Hmm. Oh, we're getting too creaky for this clam bake. Even though technically you're older than us. Okay, but George's back still hurt. Boy, you see me all the time. Uh, Lloyd's still king. Nope, nope, you're the man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who keeps the animals in line? Who makes sure the plants all grow? Who keeps the waters clean? Who keeps this jungle of a jungle running? The Ape Council. Starring Benji, Old Mangaroon, Horse Dad, and Penny. Powers, they've got them. Telepathy, telekinesis, teleporting, teleridiculing, the Ape Council. <laughs> wow, best movie of year. It's the only movie you've seen this year, and it's not even a movie. You're right. It's more of a documentary biopic. Now, enough lounging around. There's work to be done. Oh, no. I sense those awful reptilians are conspiring to overthrow the Ape Council. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't believe it. Oh, no. You must disperse them from this sweet swimming hole immediately for the jungle's sake. Okay, me do. But it's for jungle's sake, Ape. We'll check the refreshing waters and make sure they're safe. <laughs> Success! Uh, animals! Oh. George, you must stop those terrible, terrible rhinoceri! Rhinoceroses? They're consuming all this helpless grass. Uh, but... Does grass not feel love, sadness, ambition? Infuriate the rhinos and lead them away from here! Quickly now! <sighs> right away, sir. <laughs> we must examine the terrible damage those beasts caused. Bring forth the inspection tools! <laughs> Have your eyes gone insane? Those are yellow death boomerangs! <gasps> no, they're bad. Bad, yes, they're bad. Imagine if small children got their paws on those. Imagine! <gasps> what we do? Gather them as quickly as you can, then blend them into a fatal beverage, which we will consume, risking our lives to keep everyone else safe. This is ridiculous. We're not going to be Jungle King and Mentor for much longer if this threat isn't dealt with immediately! Look, poison! Hey, shall defeat it? <laughs> We are victorious! No thanks to your tomfoolery, but I will grant you a chance to redeem yourselves. See those trees? No. Yes. Oh, yes. They must be removed, vanquished, exterminated. Our new Ape Counts Hall will be built there. We'll hold bake sales, computer classes, fun fairs, all for the good of the jungle. Why does it have so many change rooms? Why are you so nosy? Anyway, blah, 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 it's above your pay grade. Now hop to it and clear that land. Good at this. Yes. 
Yes, you are. So good, we're almost finished. Just two more trees. One. One more tree. Here we go. Please, please don't. Who say the holy banana? Talking mold. That, that can't be. Oh, it's only a sloth. Sorry, moldy sloth. Me need to smash down tree with face. You can't. He really can. It's a gift. I've hung from this tree for a thousand years, and I can never let go. Here, me help. Wow, Moldy Sloth really stuck. It's okay. George talked to Council. He's sure they understand. What? So Sloth there for very long time, he's stuck. So maybe we may call somewhere else. Oh, he's stuck? He no wanna move? Do you want the jungle to go hungry? Hungry for computer classes? No. And we're already paying the contractors. No. Please. <sighs> I'll go get a sloth wrench. You want baby animals not have fun fairs and bake sales? If I let go, they won't have anything except gravy. <laughs> Sound like you say gravy. I did. Oh. What? Come closer. Closer, closer. <laughs> <laughs> One thousand years ago, a too smart for his own good ape found something mysterious. Little did he know it was a gateway. A gateway to a dimension of terrible evil and gravy. Finally free, the evil gravy threatened to devour the jungle. Seven sloth heroes bounded together to battle the gravy. But it could not be defeated. Only contained through the power of hugs. Hundreds of years passed, and now I'm the only one left. <laughs> if you remove me from this tree, then our sacrifice will have been in vain. And the jungle will once again be in mortal danger. Wow. Why you no say anything? Uh, I've tried, but no one believes me. Hmm. You promise you tell George truth? Absolutely not! I told you. But Coconut, you believe his ridiculous story? Evil gravy? That doesn't make any sense! This sloth is just lazy and doesn't want to move his lazy limbs somewhere else. So move his lazy limbs somewhere else pronto! Oh. Me sorry, but Ape Council give big order to George, and George must do what he told. No, don't! Oh, we'll be lost. Please, please believe me! Oh, no cry, Slothy Sloth. George believe you? <gasps> no. What'd I just say? You said... George, no. George say he believe you about gravy. And me do, but George's supposed to do what Ape Council say. George, have you done what the Ape Council said to do yet? Ape, uh, George have friend who must decide between believe crazy old sloth and doing what Ape Council say. So, what George do? George, as long as I've known you, you've had a good heart. What's it telling you now? Slip thump, slip thump, slip thump. Wow, we should really get that looked at ASAP. But for right now, you need to just follow it. Follow your heart and... George, believe, Sloth. Slip the... What? Did this Sloth offer any proof of his ludicrous conjecture? Yes, he cry a little. Out of the way, Jungle King. That's an order. No. God. Me mean... No! Leave Sloth alone! He holds back ancient evil gravy! And me believe him! And if George believes him, then so do I! You're both fired! If we're fired, then we don't have to listen to you any longer. Yeah! How about you listen to a psychic mind blast? <laughs> do it! <laughs> George, not care! Bah, he's too mindless for a mind blast! 
but that's why we brought rhinos. Good. Sorry, rhinos. Good. Be careful not to hurt you. Ah! Jungle hamsters, attack! Ah, there. Good for both ape and hamsters. George, no move. So maybe we just shake hands and be friends again? Honey badgers, jerko lemmings, electric eels! <laughs> just give up already! Uh, you're going to ruin the ape counts hall for everyone! Hmm. <gasps> We're never going to get our spa built with Monkey Man in the way! <gasps> building a council hall? You're building a council spa! But why here? Because of the view, you gumwit! You think I want to stare at some lemur's butt when I get my manicures? <laughs> Free Shiatsu if you don't turn on us! <laughs> Jungle King, you saved the entire jungle from a terrible evil. Ah, you're welcome. And you believed me. No one ever believed me before. Come here. Mmm, something smells meaty. Oh, poop. 